Does that old tub spout need replacement? Well, you're watching the right video. I'll show you how to replace this thing. Hello, YouTube Alonians. I bet you're watching this video because you're going to change your tub spout. Yes. We're not doing this just for fun, right? You're here because your tub spout has failed and you need to change yours. Well, I'll show you how very quickly. Okay, so you've determined that the tub spout no longer diverts water up to your shower head. And uh, so you need to replace it. Well, there's three kinds that I've heard of on the internet. I have one of three kinds, obviously, but I could tell you how the other kinds work. Um, if you feel a notch under here, uh, I'm going to show you that. Then that means that you have access to something to get that out of there. If you're not confident in doing this without causing water and flooding, call your plumber. But this is actually one of the easiest plumbing fixes I've ever seen. Um, sometimes your spout will be loose. If that's the case, make sure the water is off. Because with this being off, nothing is going to leak here. And these two parts are completely separate. So the water is off, you can just simply twist, and if it turns, that means it unscrews, or it could just slide off. Now this one is a slide type, and uh, your type may be where you would just see simple copper pipe here, and I'll show that to you. This type is a kind that comes with this part and this part together, and they come apart so that you can divert the water from the tub nozzle or spout to your shower head. Well, that is if you have a shower. If you don't have a shower, you won't even have this knob right here. Okay, so the first part was to remove this. The second part is to remove this section so that you'd see exposed copper pipe. And so the next step is to look under here and see what kind of tool you're going to need for that. So basically you just find the hex nut and you go in and you loosen it. Pretty simple to do. If it doesn't loosen that way, you could just use a pliers and loosen it that way until you get it loose enough to get finger tight. Okay, what this does is put pressure against the pipe enough to make it loose Pardon the hair, but I do have four females in the household. Or three now, one got married. And that's what you need to go buy, is uh, the same assembly as what you took. So you're gonna have three different possibilities. One possibility is an assembly that slides on right over the top, and then you tighten it down by some means. The second option is that it would be threaded here. Well, then you just buy the type of spout that's threaded out here. The third type would be maybe threaded here or some other kind of assembly. So you take the parts, learn by my mistake, take the parts with you to the hardware store and tell them that's what you need and they'll help you match it up. If they don't have it, go to another one. Uh, do not buy the cheapest parts. Before you go to the store, make sure you measure how much you have because that's going to be important to the type that you buy. So yeah, plumbing is fun, isn't it? Depending on where you live, you may not even be able to change your own plumbing parts. You probably cannot hire a handyman to do it unless they have a plumbing license because of laws, which are probably good laws because <laughs> someone could just say they could fix it for you and leave you with a large water leak or drippage that'll cause mold and kill you? Isn't that dramatic? It could though. Well guys, looks like they sell a universal part. And he said at the store, that's pretty common, that they now sell a uh, universal spout that goes for four different kinds of fittings. So let's hope, you know, sometimes these universal things are more complicated than they should be because I think the part that I took off is very simple. 
So, because I have to do plumbing, I treated myself to a pizza, a frozen pizza. When you get a pizza, you gotta get the supreme type and then add some uh, peppers to it, some like uh, green and yellow sweet peppers. Oh, you'll love the taste. All right, let's go fix this thing. Okay, so this installation is one straight copper pipe and uh, we got the part that we need. I got the nicer one and I spent more money, but my hopes is that it'll last longer and look better. The item I got is uh, called a tub spout with diverter, which means when you turn on your water source, see how it comes out? <laughs> that wouldn't make for a very good bath. But if you want to take a shower, then the diverter redirects the water and forces it up to the shower head. And thus you get a shower. And then you will look beautiful. You gotta hate it when your instructions are about 10 miles long. At least the backside is in, what, French? So make sure to read your directions very carefully. Go through and, and put it together a couple times, kind of like a practice run, so that you got all your parts ready. Now the part where I put my assembly on, now that the pipe will go back into the wall, so you may want to, as you push, it'll push it into the wall, so you may want to definitely want to hold it with one hand while you push it in with the other. So I read the instructions several times so that when I get to this part I know what they're basically looking for. And you have to, and on mine I have to line up this tightening section with that slot that's on there. Okay, all the way around. Quarter more turn. Until it's snug. That ought to do it. When you tighten up this screw, this collar, or whatever it is that secures it to the pipe, make sure you get it nice and snug and do everything you can to get it as tight to the wall as you can so that there's no play. You see that? There's no play at all so your faucet won't jiggle back and forth. And that'll hold it closer to the wall and minimize any water damage possibilities that you could have. Okay, we're ready to put this part back on. Line it up. Now, you're going to have to decide, do you want to come around one more time? You don't want to strip the work that you just did inside of there. This one's loose enough. I'm going to start and we'll do it by feel. Yeah, that's no problem. I can come around one more time. Righty tighty. I'm impressed. This is tighter and snugger than I've ever seen in rental properties or houses that I've bought. I took the time to actually reinstall it twice to get a feel for it. And I recommend you do the same thing. Is, uh, keep doing it till you get it right. Because if you get it right, this should last there for another 20 years. Maybe you'll retire by then and hire someone else to do the work for you. Okay, time to test it. Works like a charm. Look at that, water comes out of it. Just like it was designed to be. How about that? I'm happy. I'm a happy guy. Okay, so I'm just a home guy that doesn't know anything about plumbing, obviously. But, and you'll see on the comments, some of the plumbers will come on or some of the experts who know a lot more than I do, and there are, they'll make comments. And if you know something I did wrong, I really urge you to give me a comment. And if you're watching this video to learn how to do it, make sure you read the narrative because I add everything that I learn as time goes on. But again, I urge you, if you don't think you know what you're doing and you're going to get water into your wall, skip it. Just call the plumber. It's cheaper than uh, wrecking your house. All right. That's it from Frosty Life. If you like this, subscribe and watch the others. Hey, and I got some cool pet videos. Got a new kitten that was here to help me. I wonder where he went. Let's go find him.